Hi, my name is Shai Schmelzer. Welcome to this demonstration of how to implement business object client-side caching with Oracle Visual Builder. All right, so I'm going to show you the default behavior of a page when you go into the edit employees. We have one fetch that basically gets us the details about the employee. But notice over here in the network, when I open the department list, you get another fetch picking up the departments. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is that you're going to see this every time that I'm going to open it. You'll see another fetch being done, and that's expected because we don't know how often those departments are changing on your backend, so we always fetch to see which list of department we have over there. However, if you know that this set of data doesn't change very frequently, you can actually indicate to Visual Builder that this data should be cached. Let's go back into our application over here. And the definition is done on your business object. We're fetching information from the department's object. And under endpoint, you'll see a section called resource cache control. Uh, we have several options here that you can use. I'm going to use a private option. Okay. And I'm going to set the age over here in seconds to be 30 seconds. Okay. So only after, um, like if I fetch after 30 seconds, I'm going to refetch this list. Okay. Now, when you do those type of changes, um, you won't see it in the development time, but if you stage your application, okay it's going to take effect. So I'm going to stage my application and the instance I'm actually accessing here is my stage application. So uh, let's reload this page. Okay, so the last thing we did is we fetched the employee. I'm going to clear this. And now I'm going to open the department and you can see I have a list of department. I pick something and there's a value that has been fetched here. And this is a regular fetch. Now, if I go over and I reopen this in the 30 second time slot, okay, I can pick another value. You can see that this one came from the disk cache. So we didn't actually go to the backend and we didn't fetch another set of records. And again, if I'll do it again in this period of 30 seconds, this is still from the disk cache. So I'm going to wait now 30 seconds. And now that we're past the 30 seconds, I'm going to open again the list. Okay. And you can see that this time we actually went over to the server and we fetched it. So this is caching on your business object.